and welcome to one of the most requested videos of all time. You guys have been begging me, begging me since the very beginning of my channel to make this exact video and I finally figured out how to do it. Okay, because you guys want to know what the best wedding website of all time is. And I am one person and I did not want to go through all of these wedding websites and set them all up for myself and I did not want to disappoint. So what did I do? I went to our audience uh, on Instagram. We went over onto our Facebook group. Check it out right here if you're not a part of it. We're coming up on 30 thousand people in this group that are balling on a budget while planning a wedding. Excellent community to be a part of. And I asked you guys, what are the best wedding websites? And then I did some research on my own. And so we're mashing them together into what will hopefully be a helpful video. Because let's be honest, there is a whole variety of wedding websites you could be choosing from. So navigating through that can be a little bit difficult. Speaking of a whole lot of variety though, I would like to give a massive shout out to Generation Tux for sponsoring this week's video. Do you like that little like dad joke transition? variety. If you've been around here for longer than a minute and a half, you know I have a very special place in my heart for Generation Tux. Now, almost a year ago, my little brother got married. So as you can imagine, being in the field, I was a little bit particular about the vendors and the resources that we'd be using for his wedding as was his bride-to-be, my now sister-in-law. They both had this idea of what aesthetic they wanted, and it was really, truly important that it was a well-designed event. So when I brought them Generation Tux and I was like, look, these are my favorite, like, just go ahead and look, my sister-in-law was blown away by the amount of options that they have. We're talking about 25 plus different varieties of suits and tuxedos to fit literally every single person in your wedding party, from 2T, I think is the youngest that they have, to like 66, a uh, large something. I should have written that down beforehand, but that's why they're the experts <laughs> and not me. So if you were looking to suit up any member of your wedding party, check them out. I'll link them right here. And again, thank you Generation Tux for making this week's video possible. Now let's just lay an important foundation here. At the end of the day, a website is a website. They're all going to have a variety of similar or overlapping features that if I really decided to dive into and break these down, we would be sitting here for a very long time. And because there are literally a gazillion, I counted a gazillion wedding website options out there, I decided to narrow it down to the five most mentioned from you guys. And those would be Zola, The Knot, Minted, with Joy, including the Joy app, and Appy Couple. Now, obviously, like I said, there's gonna be a lot of crossover with these different websites because we pulled a couple hundred people and they all had something positive to say about the wedding website that they ended up using. So it comes down to what features do you want? Things like, do you want it to be free or are you okay to pay a little bit? Do you want the option for a custom domain? Which, which, in my professional opinion, I highly recommend you get a custom domain because if someone loses your wedding invitation and it's the not.com forward slash 426JKO slash Brian and Jenny, that's that's gonna be a lot to remember for somebody. So if you are willing to fork up the 15 to $20 for a custom domain, the chances are your guests are gonna remember that a whole lot more easily than they're going to remember a weird and random mix up of numbers and letters that lead them to your wedding website. How many design options do you want? And are you really particular about what the design looks like? How many registries do you want to link? And do you want them embedded into your wedding website? Or are you okay if it's a link that takes them off site? Do you wanna have RSVP tracking, guest list management, guest communication, or is it really important to you that your website matches your invitation that matches your save the date? Do you want it to be cohesive branding across the board? Now, out of all the responses that we've got, the top two wedding websites that people were raving about were, I'm sure you could guess it, Zola and The Knot. First, we're gonna talk about Zola. Now, I'm gonna read to you a couple of the reviews that were sent in that really highlight some of the benefits of using this particular platform. They offer such an extensive list of features that I didn't even get to use them all. Creating a wedding website is so simple and streamlined, yet the final product looks like it was created by a professional. Love that. Um, I especially love that you can track RSVPs for multiple events and sort responses into an easy to read table. They even have a very easy to use seating chart ugh, that inputs all of your guests and then you can move them around for the arrangement that works best for your group. They have an extensive wedding checklist too. All right, another one for Zola. Um, the main reasons I chose Zola for my website and guest tracking are one, they address envelopes for you for free. It's included if you order save the dates and invitations through them. And two, Superlink. They create a link that you can send your guests to fill in their contact information. One of the hardest parts about getting your guest list prepared is getting people's contact information. So the fact that you can just shoot them a link and be like, here, just fill it out on your phone right now. Like, don't even worry about it. It's, it's super easy. That's a huge deal in my opinion. I also found it easier to navigate than other sites. I tried 
out before deciding, but do find The Knot and Wedding Wire more useful for researching vendors. Now let's talk about The Knot. Two of the reviews for The Knot say, so easy, could link my registries, RSVPs, give guests all the details, and direct them to one spot so I didn't have to answer the same question 80 times. This is why you need a wedding website. Just very simple. You need to have a spot where you can send everybody like, hey, just go check it out there. Thank you. There you go. <laughs> Another review said, we had an awesome experience with The Knot. It's very easy to use, has lots of cute themes, and tons of different pages to help you get all of your information out to your guests. We'll also link to your registry, track what's happening there, and send reminders via text or email to your guests. You can you can very easily export your guest list from the master plan, because ah, we have the guest list spreadsheet in there, so you can export it into um, the knot. And it will save all your guests and their info in the website. It's a super handy and helpful tool to keep everyone informed and all your information and RSVPs in one place. So right now it's kind of sounding like they're almost identical. We've got raving reviews for both of these, how easy they are with guest list tracking, and there are obviously a couple things that make them slightly different from one another. Now taking that in conjunction with some of the research that I did, Zola is really and truly a well-designed wedding registry slash website. But it's important to note that they were a wedding registry first, and then added on websites afterwards. So of course, what they're gonna do best is registries. And their registry is top-notch. You can literally link anything on their registry. It could be something from Amazon, it could be something from Etsy, it could be something from Home Depot or another obscure site, and you can have it all collected in one place. That being said, it can be a little bit difficult to link outside registries. So if you want to have registries at more than one location, it does make it a little bit more difficult. They also charge for cash registries like many, many websites do. There is one on our list that does not charge a penny though, so keep your eye out for that one. Um, and their charge for that is 2.5%. Now the Knot, on the other hand, is a wedding information powerhouse, but there is a downside to that as well. You could be overloaded with a ton of information. It's not like you're just signing on, creating a website, and then going on your merry way. Some of the responses we got said that it feels like you're bombarded with checklists and information and all of these different resources that can kind of feel pretty overwhelming. But remember, they started as a vendor sharing and or informational blog type website, so adding on a wedding website was a secondary thing. It is easier to include outside registries, though. It does also have, uh, apparently, social media integration which means I think, if I'm understanding this correctly, can pull photos from Facebook and Instagram using a certain hashtag. I didn't dive deep into that one, but that's that's what I read. I read that, that they do that. So do with that what you will. Again, like I just said, and this includes Zola as well, because this isn't the main purpose of what they do, this is an additional feature, they're really gonna push you towards the other features on their website to make sure that you're utilizing them to the fullest extent. Part of that can be amazing, but it can also be overwhelming. Now these two are without a doubt the top two ones that were recommended, but there can be some pretty big downfalls when you sign up for a website with a mega platform like this. Because this is not their main bread and butter, the main thing that they do, they're going to be pushing you to other areas of their website for you to take advantage of those features. It is also important to note that in their terms and conditions, they do state that they may sell your information to a third party. And also they've been known to bombard inboxes with a bunch of wedding related suggestions and kind of, let's call it what it is, spam. Which is literally the one reason why I recommend having a different email address for your wedding. So when it's all done, you just get to delete it and walk away. Some of these offers may be beneficial, but others can feel like they're just kind of selling your information to any company or organization out there that has the word wedding in their bio. Now the three other top most recommended websites are Minted, with Joy or the Joy app, and Happy Couple. Minted is known for being design focused. So if that's your goal, if that's your dream, you want it to be the most visually stimulating thing your guests' eyeballs have ever experienced, Minted is going to be the one you want to take to prom, okay? Joy has an app that you can download, and while I don't think necessarily that a bunch of your guests are going to be downloading that, it does have some pretty groovy guest communication options. But my favorite part about Joy is they charge 0% for any sort of cash honeymoon fund registry that you use within their platform. I'm almost certain they're the only ones that are at a 0% rate. This is practically unheard of. So if that's something that you're interested in, this would be the one worth checking out. Happy Couple is the only wedding website hosting platform on this list that just does charge you money. And that is, let me double check the amount. It is either $49 per year or $12 per month. So in the grand scheme of things, it's not a giant amount, but it definitely is a downfall when you're comparing it to some of these other completely free platforms. But when I tell you that those who love Appy Couple are obsessed with Appy Couple, 
it's unreal. I've actually had multiple clients use this in the past. One of them was a slightly more high profile wedding where communication was of the utmost importance. I'm not gonna say any names, but let's just say a certain singing elephant needed to make sure that there was very clear communication with the guests that were going to be attending this event. That is what sold us on Appy Couple. Not only can you make it password protected if need be, but the guest communication capabilities with this platform are unreal. You still get the boutique designs. It's still very cute, very creative, but you are able to text your guests. You are able to email your guests in a way that feels less clunky than some of the other websites that say, yes, you can email from our platform, but it feels very generic. With Appy Couple, it's a very intentional communication platform. In addition to that, they do have some pretty bomb photo sharing options. Another key thing to keep in mind with this ample guest communication is we actually had someone who reviewed it that had a destination wedding and needed to convey a lot of information and respond to questions. So housing all of that in the app was extra important and extra helpful. It also gave real-time uh, guest list RSVP notifications. So especially if you're having a destination wedding or you really need to make sure you're staying on top of these numbers, that is an excellent resource for that. So you don't have to go back through and count them or check. That is so much information that I just unloaded on you. So let's do a quick recap. All of the options we've listed are free or low cost. All of them are gonna have multiple design options to choose from. All of them most likely do some form of guest list or RSVP tracking. So what it really boils down to is what is the most important thing you wanna get out of this website? Zola, they're gonna have the best integrated wet wedding rib. <laughs> Zola is going to have the best integrated wedding registry. That was really hard to say. <laughs> Where you can include items from a whole myriad of stores. You can also use the registry on other websites, but we're talking about wedding websites specifically right now. The Knot is going to be a powerhouse of information, a jack of all trades, so to speak, but that does have its downfalls as well. Minted is going to be the top place to go for beautiful designs, especially because they're made by independent creators and we love supporting an independent creator. With Joy has the zero cost honeymoon fun cash registry insert whatever that term is here that's a big draw in my opinion because even giving away 2.5 percent while it doesn't sound like a lot it starts to add up after a while and last but not least happy couple that does charge a little bit of money but has some pretty incredible features that are going to be quite a bit more advanced and better suited for a wedding website since this is all they do. All right, guys, let me know what wedding website you are using down below. I know there are quite a few options. We didn't go over uh, Wedding Wire or Wedding Window or Wedding Woo or something. <laughs> There's so many options out there. So if you found one that I didn't mention, drop it down below, let's help each other out. Or if you liked your experience or didn't like your experience with your wedding website, jump in the comments, let's help each other out and make sure that we're all finding the best resources for our wedding day. That's what we have for this week's video, guys. Thank you so much for stopping by. If you liked the video, be sure to like the video and subscribe to this channel for more tips and tricks for the modern day bride. And thank you again, Generation Tux, for sponsoring this week's video. Until next week, bye guys. Mm -hmm.